Hi, this is Christine, your Relationship and Mindset Master Doctor, and your Leverage for Change. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about the illusion of control. And I'm not speaking about self-control now, because you do kind of have some kind of a, a, a you can manage uh, yourself uh, to some point, right? But, but this is just generally just control over anything in our lives. I want to point out that until we can bring the fact that we really don't have control over er pretty much anything, really, we don't have a lot of control over anything, uh, that it will save us a lot of pain, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety in life. And so I think that the pandemic has really taught us a lot about uh, having control and what it is that we really are, you know, what we re really have control of and what we don't. <clears throat> the pandemic has basically caused us to re recognize that there is only so much that we have control over. There are other things we just don't have control of. And, you know, the thing about it is that even before the pandemic, a lot of us, we recognize it, we realize it because um, in our everyday lives, we really uh, go through issues that we planned, we made plans, we made specific plans. We made it down to the T all, you know, okay, I'm going to leave it this time. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. This is my goal for the year. Uh, I'm, I'm going to exercise and keep healthy. And then something happens out of the blue, unannounced. And we, you know, all of a sudden we are, we were, we're, we're in a tizzy because we planned certain things and it just didn't turn out the way it did. The, the way that it, we planned it to turn out. And I believe that if we are to come to a place, if we're to come to a place of uh, having the ability to manage these things that worry us and cause us a lot of pain and anxiety, the first thing we have to recognize is that we really have no control or very little control over things that happen in our lives. Of course, we can plan and make our plans and we can, um, you know, do the best that we can do to manage what we want to manage. But there are times, and we all know that because I'm sure we have, if you've lived here long enough on, on this earth, we recognize that there's, there are things that we planned for that just did not turn out the way that we expected it to. So the pain that we have and the worry that we have and the frustration and anxiety that we, we develop uh, in, in, in believing that this thing should turn out just like the way we planned it, we can save ourselves all of that pain, anxiety, and frustration, right? As I said, we have very little, uh, we have very little control over the things that happen. You know, we get up in the mornings, we don't even, first of all, we plan our day sometimes the day before, right? What we're going to do, we're going to work, we're going to do this, we're going to go to the supermarket, blah, blah, blah. But we could get up tomorrow morning and not even be able to get out of bed because we might be sick, right? We might get out of bed and then we go on the road and there might be an accident that makes us late for some appointment or whatever it might be. So uh, I just want to kind of give you this, uh, to kind of just remind you, because I think I think that we we know that we don't have control over everything, but yet we put ourselves in this uh, in this uh, state, constant state of worrying about what might happen, what could happen, and re without recognizing that we really have no control. So we just we the, the best way to 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 really uh, live our lives is really to just do the best that we can at this moment, and. Um, adapt when the things don't go the way that we planned. Understanding that we really have no control or very little control over things that can happen in our lives. All right, guys, we can plan and we can do things and we can, you know, uh, stare clear of certain things that we know might cause us trouble, but we never know for sure. So just um, the recognition of that is really enough, it should be enough to really 
allow us to really sit in a state of peace in that we have done our best and that whenever things happen, whatever happens, we will be able to manage it and we'll just go through, go at, um, address that thing as it happens, but not worry in advance about what could happen, what might happen, because we just figure that we are able to control whatever it is that we plan or things in the world, you know, what happens from day to day. We don't have control over that. So guys, I just hope that that kind of just really bring to your awareness. That's really what I'm trying to do is bring it to your awareness because I know at an innate level that we all know that to be true. But um, I think that we just automatically start worrying about things that we have no control of. And uh, in, to relieve these, these worry and pain and all of that kind of uh, frustration and anxiety, uh, I just wanted to remind you this morning that we have very little control over uh, you know anything everything you know so that you can kind of remain at you can be at peace with the choices that you make hoping that it will work out the way you want to but knowing that it is possible that it won't and being okay with just moving from there and trying again and doing things over again all right guys I hope that kind of helps someone to kind of um, manage their anxiety and be a little bit more at peace uh, within themselves today. This is Christine, your Relationship and Mindset Master Doctor and your Leverage for Change. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel as, that as soon as I upload another video, you will be notified. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.